All right, we finally got it accomplished. We finally produced an actual uh, hydraulic mat, fully functional. So you want you'll be able to see this uh, trigger box here for one second. Little uh, pulley system we have here. What we did is we finally uh, got around the operating tank problem as well as uh, the uh, switching problem too. We had to do is we had to put an extra tank in the bottom with a uh, float switch that usually would have a, a floating little plastic ball in it and what we did is instead is we uh, replaced it with a uh, copper tray that's uh, connected to a uh, pulley system right here so it goes you know like so and that right there's a counterweight a little copper uh, box filled with BBs so that's been uh, produced the copper lining in the uh, bottom of course that's what copper usually does Here's the operating tank. We've replaced that now with a uh, Blue Wave 20 sun quart, or I don't know what the uh, quartage on the thing is, but uh, it's a basically a giant, basically it's a water bottle, and we drilled uh, drilled some uh, holes in it and put some bulkhead fittings in there. So now we have that. We have a three quarter inch feed tube. I like how it's trying to like get a perfect picture of the trees. There we go. So we got that there. Here's the feed tank. That's the input right there. Though sometimes the feed tank, what it does is it sucks into the operating tank so quickly that you actually have to feed directly into that thing at the top. And I drilled two holes in the top of that too. For uh, usually uh, originally intended for uh, breathing. So that wouldn't be a vacuum or anything like that. This right here is the uh, first stage right here. That one there's the second stage. That's the third stage. And that's the reservoir. That's the end right there. So <clears throat> if you haven't looked at the uh, previous videos, basically what's going to happen... Hold on a sec. Make sure this uh, camera doesn't do anything weird. Basically what happens is you put the water into this tank right here, which is the input. And it feeds down a tube right here in the back into this thing right here, the feed tank. And then what the feed tank does is it feeds down this giant tube here and goes into this uh, float switch here, which is turned to a flow switch, which is act now, which is uh, I'll tell you about that later. And what happens is the water goes up into here into the operating tank. Now what happens with the operating tank is that. This is all closed off, so what happens is the air pressure is sealed in here, with the exception of this uh, air tube going up into here. Now what happens is this fills up, and as it fills up, what happens is, is the siphon right here on the side gets filled up to this point. Now what happens is, is the pressures or whatever, the uh, water builds up to a certain point that gets to here, and then when it finally gets to the uh, siphon, what happens is it goes down the siphon, the siphon drains into this uh, tray here. That's what the copper tray is, is the water from the siphon drains down to there. And what happens is the water fills up in the tray. The tray goes downward by weight. And then what it does is it pulls up this counterweight like so. And then it closes off the uh, input going into the operating tank. So what happens is that this thing fills up, goes down the siphon, the siphon closes this off. And then what happens is the siphon keeps on Punting out water from the operating tank. So the water keeps on going into the tray, and then uh, since this is all closed off, what happens is you have the suction, because no, no longer is, it being, is there water being fed into it, but there's water being drained from the siphon. So what happens is, is as this drains, it creates a vacuum. And the vacuum right here pulls the air from this tank here and this tank here, which are also both sealed off, but connected to the top of here by this uh, network here, by this, uh, air, you know, this uh, tubing network. And that's where the uh, suction uh, and also pressurization uh, network is, is just this right here. So what happens is this will uh, suck the air up here, and what happens is when there's a suction, it has to be filled. So what happens is the suction becomes, what happens is it sucks down into here, so the suction pulls the water from here into this tube here, pass this check valve into this tank right here. 
Meanwhile, as there's a suction, this check valve right here prevents the air prevents the air going into the intake tube on the uh, stage two from going back into here. That's the check valve for because otherwise you would have this giant amount of uh, bubbling and stuff go on when this is first filling up. There'd be incredible amounts of air being pushed from this tank into here because it'd be the path of least resistance. So you know, so it would equalize the pressure. Now the check valves prevent that. So anyways, as this air creates a vacuum, the water's pumped up from the feed tank into here, and also the water from here, from the stage two tank, is pulled up into the stage three tank by the same circuit, by the same suction circuit here. And what happens is this eventually fills up to a point, and then this goes down to here. When this gets down to here, this is this should be about here. This should be about here technically. You know, I don't know so much about if that's true or not. Uh, but uh, either way, it fills up to a decent amount of uh, decent height. And then what will happen is, is that since it's down here, then there's a suction. And there's not enough water eventually to power the siphon, and the siphon turns off. The tray's got some slits in it, so that happens is the uh, water can drain out of the tray. So what happens is the siphon turns off, the water stops flowing into it to compensate for the uh, drain for the leakage of the water that's automatically been uh, you know, intended for this tray here. So the tray starts to uh, drop in the uh, amount of water. The weight therefore goes away because the weight's being poured out and then lifts back up again by this, is pulled back up again by this counterweight. And then the uh, <coughs> switch here is turned on again so that the water can flow from this tank into this tank here, flow down through here again. And as this fills up, it pressurizes. So what happens when it pressurizes the pressure goes into this tank and pushes down. So what happens is it pushes the water down, but since this check valve prevents it from going back into the feed tank, what it does is it pushes out through the second tube right here. And the second tube pushes it up into this open air space right here. So it pushes it up, the water goes up through here, and then it just fills up like this. And as it fills up, what will happen also is that this one here is also being pressurized, so this pushes down too. And check valve once again prevents it from going back from where it came. So what happens is the check valve pushes into the second tube right here, which goes up to this reservoir right here, which feeds into the top. And this could be, this is basically the end result right here for this device on this uh, form right here. So this is basically like Thomas Gaskell Allen back in the 1920s had intended it. This is, a, you know, it's all pretty much the same thing with the exception of instead of having a uh, lever on a fulcrum basically with a, a tray on one end that would catch the water and a counterweight tied to a uh, by eccentric gear to a uh, valve that would turn this on and off as opposed to having a float, a, a float switch here. Instead of having that we have this assembly right here. A little bit different but it's the same principle. Uh, and uh, the other main difference is the uh, drain tank to accomplish that means. But other than that, it's pretty much the very same thing as what he had back in the 1920s. There's an additional input tank here because it's harder to fill this thing up through the top and whatever. So I just have this thing. It's a big wide mouth to it. You know, mouth is that wide. So it's much better than the Gatorade bottle you might have seen in the uh, previous videos. I put a lot bigger uh, tubing on it. Instead of having a quarter inch uh, OD tubing, they have half inch OD tubing things of that nature. I have some check valves right here from McMaster Car. These are uh, high performance or high workload, whatever you want to call them. Ones here, it only requires five PSI to uh, open them up. They're spring-loaded check valves, but only require 5.5 PSI, half PSI to go uh, to push, you know, to open these things up. And uh, they work very well so far. And we got a T on here and stuff like that. So this is 3 8 inch tubing. These little guys here are going in between the tanks are quarter inch. The feed tube is three quarters inch. And uh, yeah, I don't know how big this thing is. This thing's also got on the side, it's got a uh, spigot right here. And this can also be used to depressurize things and whatever. So if something gets too high or too low, you can just do that or open it up. This right here will stick and I'll open it up. This actually retains a pretty good seal here. So I can also use that, and that's also coming to hand come in handy inadvertently, so I don't have to actually pull it out, seal it up some way.
it actually is a useful instrument on this device. So I'm going to uh, start this thing. I want to see how much uh, time we have on this thing. All right, it's been 10 minutes. So let's see. I'm probably I already explained it, so this is going to be a uh, explanation video. I'm going to have another one.